It's my pleasure to share with you two pieces of news today, two brand new alliances. The first would be a short form top 10, if I were clever enough to write one, or the 10 best reasons this makes sense. Um, but we are gonna work with people who've perfected the list, and those are the great folks at BuzzFeed. So today, it's my pleasure to announce that Digitas LBI and BuzzFeed will be in residence. It's a first of a kind agency digital publisher skill swap alliance. So we're excited to announce that what's gonna happen is that the Buzz, we are calling it the BuzzFeed in residence program. Where members of the BuzzFeed editorial and rapid response teams will take residence literally in our offices, walking the halls, being with our teams, tackling real client challenges and briefs on a daily basis. We're gonna be testing this in-residence program with two of our clients in the coming weeks in our New York office, with folks both in our office and in the BuzzFeed office. We're really excited about this first-of-a-kind in-residence program. The second alliance is about some of the most unassailable content in the world focused on real stories. Stories surfaced by journalists who scour the globe for amazing, obscure, extraordinary, human, real stories. They are epic digital. They are, a they are a company that debuts its original stories on Medium, which is a native digital publishing platform created by Twitter founders Evan Williams and Biz Stone. The founders of Epic Digital are Josh Davis and Josh Bierman. And Epic is in business to follow this single purpose, tell real stories worth remembering. Most of you may not have heard of Epic, but I assure you, you have heard of their work. Josh Bierman wrote the true story of CIA operative Tony Mendez that later became the Academy Award winning movie Argo. Josh Davis's career began as a Stanford educated data entry guy before becoming a champion arm wrestler. Josh Davis will share with you the obvious connection between arm wrestling and journalism. Josh also spent time in prisons on three continents in the pursuit of these real stories. So you will have plenty to talk about when you meet the Joshes. Epic has created, in recent months, exclusive deals in Hollywood. The first is a development deal with 20th Century Fox. And as of today, an exclusive deal with one digital agency partner, Digitas LBI. By the way, the Joshes are nominated for the prestigious National Magazine Award, and that ceremony is tonight. So when you see them later, please wish them luck tonight. This exclusive first pulp nonfiction Epic Digital Alliance between Epic Digital and Digitas LBI will allow us for the period of 24 months to get a first look at the real stories that they find and bring to you and they will be these content creators for real long-form stories for our clients. We're very excited about this brand new partnership, and I'm eager to have you hear from them. So please join me in welcoming, welcoming two fearless storytellers, Josh Davis and Josh Bierman. Thanks a lot. Well, as, as Tony was kind to point out, um, he said data, data guy. What he should have said was data entry clerk. I was actually typing numbers into a computer uh, eight hours a day. Sometimes I got two hours of overtime, so that was, that was a good day. So my life at that point was not particularly exciting. Uh, in fact, it was, it was miserable. I had thought that I would have this exciting life and get to know the world, and I found myself literally nothing more than a, an attachment to a machine. And it was around this time that I saw a flyer for the US National Arm Wrestling Championship. And I thought, whoa, I, I didn't know that still existed. I thought over the top was kind of the high watermark of arm wrestling. But it turns out that there is still a passionate community of arm wrestlers. And, and the event was in Laughlin, Nevada. I don't know if any of you have ever had the pleasure of visiting Laughlin. Um, but I decided to go. And uh, I arrived at the event, and they told me that it was open. They were very welcoming the arm wrestlers. They said, look, uh, you, you might as well, you've come all this way. Rather than just watch, why don't you get up and wrestle? 
I thought, well, there's some logic to that. I'm here. So I decided to enter. I entered in the lightweight division. Uh, and <laughs> I really hadn't arm wrestled. I arm wrestled my brother when we were eight, and he won. So I had actually never won any matches. So now here I am at the national championship, and I grip up with these guys. It's a double elimination event. I lose my matches, right? No surprise. Uh, and so I, but it was fun. It was interesting. I kind of put myself outside of my comfort zone, uh, quite literally. And I ended up in the back of the auditorium with some of the wrestlers, and we were just kind of joking around when I heard them start the awards ceremony. And they start with the lightweight division. They say, okay, fourth place in the United States, Joshua Davis, get on up here. <laughs> what? what are you talking about? I lost all my matches. How is this possible? So I get up there. They put a medal around my neck, and they say, congratulations, you're fourth out of four. <laughs> there were only three other competitors in the division. But what that did is it made me an alternate for the US national arm wrestling team. <laughs> and when numbers two and three couldn't travel to Poland for the world championship, they were forced by their bylaws to invite me to become part of Team USA. <laughs> and I ended up in Gdynia, Poland in the middle of winter, <laughs> competing as part, representing my country. Uh, and I had, like, I had a period of months to train. I took it very seriously. My right arm got very big. Uh, and I ended up 17th in the world. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Out of 18. Yeah. And the 18th guy didn't show up. So I've actually, I've never won a match in my life. Uh, but somehow, just by putting myself out there, I had had this kind of transformative experience. I used to be a data entry guy, now I'm an internationally ranked arm wrestler. <laughs> so it just opened up the horizons for me. Uh, and that changed everything in my life. I, uh, this was in the run up to the war in 03 and I was fascinated by the way war was fought in the digital era. Uh, and so I ended up going to Iraq uh, and spending time there and when I, came back, uh, I wrote a story for Wired Magazine about how warfare changes in the 21st century and what networking does to the way we fight. Uh, and Wired at that point made me a contributing editor and I suddenly was a journalist. Uh, so that's actually how I became a journalist. Uh, and I felt like putting myself out there, kind of getting on, getting out of my comfort zone was always good. It always allowed me to understand people in a different way or push myself in new directions. One example of that was my experience sumo wrestling. Uh, that's me uh, fighting Big T uh, in Washington, D.C. as part of the U.S. sumo demonstration team. I'm still, uh, as far as I know, the lightest man to ever sumo at the U.S. sumo open uh, by a long shot. <laughs> uh, but essentially, having these experiences uh, led me to the, to, to the point where I realized there were these stories that were compelling if you just put yourself out there, if you can travel and find them and, and look where other people aren't looking. Uh, and that's the idea behind Epic. And I'll let uh, Mr. Josh Behrman explain more about that. Well, I haven't put myself out there quite uh, in this way. <laughs> um, but, you know, you got to get out there to find stories, right? Um, I mean, that's how I found myself hanging out with private detectives, or drug smugglers, or cat burglars, or this guy. Uh, this is me blowing the lid off of a story of a very true uh, civil war in the Santa Claus community. This is Santa Tim, shortly before he was deposed by some insurrectionist Santas at the Knott's Berry Farm Hotel at the annual convention. And um, uh, this is another scenario I got myself into here. Oh, here. Uh, this is the Mr. Romance <laughs> competition. That's not uh, Josh. That's not me. Um, this was at the downtown Houston Hyatt. Uh, it was 4,000 crazed romance fans, and this guy, and me. I mean, you know, talk about fearless here. Uh, this is a competition, this is for aspiring Fabios. And there was a lot of intrigue at this event, as you can imagine. <laughs> uh, but it was a very different kind of intrigue than I discovered when I tracked down a former CIA agent who had rescued six Americans during the Iran hostage crisis. And that, of course, is Tony Mendez. Uh, well, that's not Tony Mendez, that's Ben Affleck. <laughs> He's playing Tony in the film adaptation of the Wired story that became Argo. And that was a very exciting experience for obvious reasons, but also because it showed how stories can, you know, seeing a story go from print to film and on the big screen and find a different audience, that showed us how our stories resonate in different media and for different people. And that's why we founded Epic, was so we could tell more stories for more people. 
And that's why Epic sought these partnerships in film and television and entertainment. And now, a digital partner. And so now, Epic can meet with Digitas clients, and we can hear the brief, and we can learn what types of stories you want to tell. And then when we're out in the world, scouring the globe, looking for these extraordinary true stories, we can come back and we can bring the stories that are of interest to you. And that's what we hope to do with Epic Digital, and uh, we look forward to it. Thanks so much. Thank you.